and you just mentioned Romantic Warrior. What did you make of uh, his win on the weekend, and what did you make of the Cox Plate as a whole? Mate, the, the Cox Plate was fantastic. It's uh, If you go back in history, few questionable winners, but it normally always, uh, the winner is normally always the best horse in the race, and what was the best horse in the race? Very hard to line up form between Melbourne and Sydney, so trying to line up the horses from Hong Kong to Australia is very, very difficult, but J-Mac was so bullish about this horse, and I didn't, I wasn't sure. Then he got beaten the Turnbull, and, and to be fair, I'm going to say it, he, he was, wasn't my first pick. I think Alligator Blood was my first pick, but at the end of the day, he was fatter than me, obviously. Uh, they got him right, they stripped him right. Danny Shum has done an amazing job because you're under a lot of pressure. You've got the, all of Hong Kong watching you, plus you've got all of Australia watching you. And um, I know Danny personally, because when he was an assistant trainer, he came out to Australia and spent some time with uh, with my family. So he's a great, great trainer, you know that, but the pressure's on right from the get go. So he had one run that was a good run without being a great run. So to turn it around and to do what he did, it's great for international racing. No one was the loser there, and uh, because us Aussies always look and think, you're in the fishbowl in Hong Kong, you're only race with those horses up there, and when they're dominant, they're the best of the best, the best of a small bunch. Whereas you've come out here with your best horse, and you have literally kicked us. And look at the great horses that you've uh, you've run against, and you've beaten out here now in the Cox Plate. So they're as good as what we had, and uh, you gave them a, uh, in theory, running in a, a turn. Well, you gave them a start and a beating.